All right, guys. Um, I did a live stream and it showed my email address. So in the live stream, so I had to like privatize that. But in the last, um, in my last video, I wanted to show. You, um, I want to show you guys some really cool information. See here that it's like four point eight point one nine is the latest firmware that's available for the Pico three. This is the dead Pico three that hasn't been updated for months. The Pico Neo 3 Pro I version. And if you look at like my um, my scripts and stuff, I can't get anything newer than that anyway. But if you go and you look over here to the Chinese firmware, it's 575. This was stuck at 5.8 or 4.8 for the longest time or 4.9 for the longest time. And it's finally been updated. So if you have a Pico 3, and, uh, and it's on the dead version that hasn't been able to be updated, you can go ahead and grab this firmware and, uh, and it's available um, right here off the Pico's website to get you off the 4.0 firmware. So you can actually start using like the actual, like newer software. Another cool thing is I just updated my, um, my I just updated my region switcher to 5.80. So if you update to that version of P your Pico 3 to that new version, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to like use the global store. Um, I took away the friends app and the other app because it doesn't work anyway. Usually, um, if you reboot, it goes away anyway half the time. So there's no point in that. But I do got the new region switcher. I got the new. Um, and now we got the new um, Pico um, firmware. And I'll leave a link to this firmware in my description and then I'll leave a link to my um, to my uh, region switcher in the description as well for the 5.80. But I just wanted to like let you guys know that there's a new update and that it's finally fixed. So pretty exciting. All right, thanks for watching, and you guys have a good rest of your day.